So next week for the Quest Wednesdays, we have the theme connecting with your playful self. I'm curious when you hear, you know, that term, what, what comes up for you? It's an interesting one for me, Ali, because I've always thought of myself as being quite playful. But when I referenced one of the uh, principles of play that, you know, Dr. Stuart Brown identifies, one of the principles he identifies was apparently purposeless. And when I read that, I was like, oh, my God, you know, everything I do these days has a purpose. You know, if I'm going for a walk, it's to go it's to go and get something. If I'm uh, writing something, it's a letter to somebody or an email to somebody. There's always a practical purpose. And I was thinking, where do I just do something that, which is apparently purposeless? You know, that element of play. And that really shifted something in my head because it will first it made me realize I'm very much kind of um, work ethic. I'm very stuck in a work ethic. And I think that just doing something for the sake of it is a waste of time. So it really made me pause and gave me, gave me room to think, well, actually, it's fine just to do something just for the reason of doing it, you know? So now these days I've started going for walks just for the sake of it. And I think with lockdown and with COVID, sometimes there isn't a lot of purpose to some of the things that I used to do. I used to walk to get to work and now I don't. I used to cycle to get into the center of town because I had appointments. I haven't got appointments now. So I started to cycle just for the sake of it and walk for the sake of it and doing other things as well. So it's helped to shift this unconscious belief I had around if it doesn't have a purpose, it's not useful. Mm. So that's, that's, been an, that's been an interesting one for me. How about yourself? Yeah, I can certainly relate to that. I think when I think of you know, connecting to my playful self, I think of that part of me that doesn't take myself too seriously, that can simply let go. Um, and be in that space of um, wholehearted self-expression, actually. So one of the ways that I do that is improv. Um, and this past weekend, I had an improv session. And it's always very interesting when I do improv, because for the first, ooh, depending on how long the session is, but for the first chunk of time, I'm in my head, you know, really tight, um, wanting to get it perfect, wanting to get it right. Um, and something happens halfway through where I connect with this young, this young self that just lets go. Um, and I'm just like in there having fun. There's no purpose to it. You know, there's no getting it right. There's no getting it wrong. There's no such thing as um, good enough or bad. It just simply is. And the image that often comes to mind when I'm in improv it's like being on um, at the fairground on one of those rides, either a roller coaster or one of those really high swings. And I just completely let go and allow myself to be in it. And, and that's what it means when I, when I think of connecting with my playful self. It's that sense of um, abandonment, but at the same time, there is a consciousness to it. So I'm aware of it and I'm not moving away in a way that I'm trying to numb or escape. It's simply this co complete abandonment of the, of the ego. So I really love that about um, this connection to, to, to playful self. Wow, I love, I love your description. It really captures exactly that feel. And I'm hoping, you know, next week's meeting, all the guys that come on to the, into the meeting are gonna experience a sense of abandonment and freedom and playfulness. So. I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be a really light, fun, playful session. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it too. This is where we get to um, move out of the head, go into the heart and come out with the heads. Yeah, it's going to be a great session.